next is Jan Juvenile Case Juvenile Case this year, JP Cole, Jan Juvenile Case Manager. Let's see, we have Deputy Seals, Sergeant Mina Taylor, Sergeant Willingham, Captain Moody, the first and full conference office as well. Don, you want to, uh, I'll let them uh, carry another ladies introduce themselves in the order. David Alexander. Number 13, 2008, given a fine, we're going to school. She's going to have to pay the fine, get the community service, and also have additional licenses. Are you taking care of any of that? I get my community service. Okay. 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 You have a different reason for missing those days? What do you want for you in school suspension for? Sad. Was that for missing school or other problems in school? Mm -hmm. I appreciate you getting community service done. It's also part of the court order and the most important part of it is attending school. Unless you can show me a medical reason, it's only a couple of reasons to go around. It's not possible for you. We're saving two hours in Montgomery County, too. We're taking them into custody, sir. Will not be a fine for that. It's not part of the time to go on this way. We're saving two hours in Montgomery County, too.
on. Oh yeah, pretty much heard it all. And Thank you, Joe. They didn't charge you with it. Okay. That's all we want to know. Okay. How long did you? How long was the last the last time you were in court? What you sit on your hand? I like. I don't know. It was in December. December. Hey, what did he tell you there? Not really. He just told me how to pay a fine. What about tools? Get skipping now or what's the deal? No, nah, just tidies. I had a tax assist. Two miles, you gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom. I just wanna go to the bathroom. I just wanna go to the bathroom. Yeah, drink. Aw, man. One at a time. One, two, one at a time. Come on, man. Let's get the video camera. Let's get the video camera. Let's get the video camera. Let's get the video camera.
Rowdy Hayden. And Constable Precinct 4. Tell me what, uh, what you all have today. You looked uh, pretty, pretty much used quite a few of your officers in the operation today. Yeah, we used a lot of our resources today. Uh, Judge James Matz held 21 juveniles in contempt of court today. Uh, they ranged in age from 17 years old to 19 years old, both males and females. And, um, we called for assistance from the Montgomery County Sheriff's Department and Sheriff Gage dispatched three uh, jail transport vans to our office to assist with the transport and booking of these prisoners. I mean, these kids, he's, you know, Judge Metz gave them time and time again warning, and they keep getting out there. What are you seeing them out in the streets? I mean, these kids, uh, you know, burglaries, car problems during the day, or what does it lead to, actually? Uh, when we have juvenile truancy in the schools, it um, it leads to daytime, the crime rate, daytime crime rate usually increases because of this, and we have um, tied up a lot of our resources um, with juvenile truancy. Uh, so we're glad the judge has taken a firm stance against juvenile truancy and um, trying to keep the kids in school. That's, kids are our most valuable asset, and um, we need to make sure they stay in school. Or this cup or anything. No. All right, first of all, name? Judge James Smith, just the Peace Precinct 4, Montgomery County. Judge, tell me what you had going on today here. Well, we, had, we call it fail to attend court here. It's on truancy issues, kids not attending school. And uh, we have this uh, twice a month uh, on fail to attend issues. What uh, kind of different today a little bit? Uh, what, what well, is unfortunately, we had uh, what is called uh, show calls hearings today. Uh, we court ordered kids have been here before for failing to attend school, and we court ordered them to attend school without further absences, without excuse, uh, legitimate excuse. And many of them came back today that did have additional absences without legitimate excuses from being out of school. And unfortunately, uh, those that were 17 or older uh, were incarcerated in the Montgomery County Jail for 72 hours. I did not find them. I, I could have found them an additional $100. I did not. But uh, unfortunately, those are consequences for the actions. They refused to go to school and didn't have legitimate reasons for being absent. And uh, they were uh, sentenced to jail for 72 hours. And and some, the, some people may say it's a little extreme, but I mean, this is not the first time or second time or even third time in your court, is it? No, they've been here numerous times. They've been given uh, different options uh, to stay in school, and they have no legitimate reasons for being out. I asked them, why do you have a legitimate reason for being from school? No, sir, I do not. Uh, basically, they put themselves in jail, not me. They, we live under the rule of law here in America, and there must be consequences for your actions. What about uh, what about the parents' reactions? A couple of parents were here. What, any reactions from them at all? For the most part, they understand. Uh, some of the parents were uh, a bit negative about their children. Uh, going to jail today, but uh, when they get 17 years old, it's, I, I think the child is old enough to get themselves up and get to school. Uh, the parents are just being protective, but uh, you know, children, they're, they're, they're our greatest asset. It's so important for them to be in school. When they're not, statistics will prove to you that they're a lot of times involved in criminal activity. We've seen that right here in our local communities where uh, kids were not in school. They were burglarizing homes, and that's a serious offense. It's a second-degree felony, burglary of a habitation. And uh, when they're not in school, they're not going to be in criminal activity or burglarizing homes and other crimes. What about the other youngsters, the 15, 16-year-olds here? Do you think they got the message today? I hope so for their for their own interest. Uh, some of those were fined extensively, but hopefully that they will understand that 
there are consequences for your actions and not going to school is important. You, you, you need an education desperately bad in, a, in society today to get a decent job, you know, for your, to take care of your basic needs, food, clothing, and shelter. Then above that, uh, things that you uh, would like to have in life, things that are nice, nice clothes and, and automobile at some point in time. So you have to work in order to, to have those things. What about, I mean, probation is an alternative, but it doesn't seem to work with the kids lately. I mean, not just your court, but all through the county. We've tried numerous. We've tried uh, community service. Uh, different ones laughed and thought it was a joke, so we, we don't do that too much anymore. Uh, we've tried different things. We also, a program that seems to be having a positive uh, influence and a positive impact is the uh, truancy program that we have here with Montgomery County Youth Services, the Juvenile Probation Department. Uh, we're getting good results back from that. Uh, we a lot of kids went to that today. Well, you're looking at an ankle monitoring type system. How how would that help you? And I mean, what's what's what are you looking forward to in something like that? Uh, to improve attendance issues, it's it's work. It's been very effective in the middle and Odessa area and, and uh, San Antonio. Uh, it's been very effective there, and we're having a meeting tomorrow uh, with some folks uh, about that, and uh, hopefully we'll get some results there. Uh, the answers to some questions we have, and. Uh, Hopefully it'll work as well here as it has out there to bring up the attendance issues here in East in Montgomery County. What is that basically just a monitoring system? If they're not in school, you know where they're at. The monitors, you know where they're at. And Absolutely, we'll work in conjunction with the schools. Uh, they will have a, a monitor there as well. And if they're not at school when they're supposed to be, uh, the folks that uh, the will the meeting tomorrow uh, will give us additional information. But from my understanding, that they will. Uh, contact them. It'll be one-on-one -on -one contact. They can call them. If they're not at school, they'll see where they're at, why they're not there. Uh, you can keep close tabs on them uh, for not being in school. So what was the total number today at uh, Temple Jail? A uh, total of 21, unfortunately, went to jail today, 17 years old and above uh, for not going to school. And what, 72 hours? It'll, they'll be there for 72 hours. I did not find them. Uh, I had the option to do that. I did not. Uh, but they will be there for 72 hours, and then they will be released, and hopefully they will get back to school and not miss anymore. Some of these kids kind of thought it was a little funny and everything walking out. Do you think they'll change their mind once they get to Conroe? I hope so. Uh, you know, they're taking someone's freedom away is, is, a, is something serious, and, and it's not something I, I like doing or, or take lightly. And some maybe they think it's a joke but it's not a joke to me it's very serious that they get an education 78 percent of texas prison inmates their first citation or first reaction with the law was uh on truancy matters uh that, that's pretty sad they need they need to be in school they need to get an education for their best interest and for the interest of everybody else in the community